do you stay motivated? How do you stay creative throughout the whole day, throughout the whole week? How do you carry on doing a job that requires your creativity if you're not inspired? I have all the questions, but also all the answers to these questions and many, many more about how to stay motivated and how to stay creative in today's video. So keep on watching. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Floor, and if you're new to this channel and this is your first time watching my face and this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell to be notified of every time I upload a new video every single week. If you're new here, you might not know who I am. I've been a blogger for over 10 years. I am now a full-time content creator. And as you might imagine, my job requires being creative all the time. And can we as human beings and as regular people be creative, be inspired, be motivated all the time? Well, the answer is probably not. We've all go through different stages, through different days. Sometimes we might be super inspired, but some other time we are not. So what do I do? What are the steps I take when I'm not feeling motivated, when I'm not feeling inspired, when I'm not feeling creative? In this video, I'm going to share with you my five best tips in order to get back into that inspirational state of mind. First of all, is to give yourself time and be patient with yourself. I know this is easier said than done, but if you want to stay motivated, if you want to stay inspired, you have to be patient with yourself. You have to give yourself time. You have to give yourself space. For someone who works in a creative field or something related to a creative activity or even any type of work, you're not creative 100% of the time. You're not inspired 100% of the time or motivated. And this is normal. We cannot be original or funny or unique all the time. And in order to be funny, original, unique, sometimes you need to give yourself the time to do something else, to relax, to take time off. I think the first step in order to do this is to realize that you're not alone. For all of us who work on the creative field or who need to use our creativity on our everyday work, we all have times where we feel uninspired, where we feel stuck, where we feel like we're not moving forward, where we feel like we don't have any good ideas. You have to understand that this is only a stage that this is only a moment in your life, that this is not your whole life or your whole day or your whole week, but just a slump, <laughs> a bit of time where you're not that creative and that is all right. Be patient and know that this too shall pass. My second tip is to do another type of job, another type of work while you're not feeling creative. If you create YouTube videos or maybe you do Instagram posts or you have a blog, you're a writer, you're a photographer, you're an illustrator, a painter, anything that requires a bit of you being creative and you're not feeling inspired, the best thing you can do is to do any other type of work. As you probably know, even if you do some type of creative job, not every part of your job is about being creative. You probably have to do invoices, you probably have to send emails, or maybe you have to check something that you have already written. There are types of jobs, types of work within your own job that do not require you to be creative. So in my case, when I'm not feeling creative, when I'm not feeling in the mood to create a video, to do photos, or maybe to write an inspiring blog post, I do other things. And these other things might be either replying to all the emails that need a reply, or it might be planning out my schedule for the next couple of weeks. It might be editing a video because you need to be creative and need to be in a good mood or something to actually film a video, but you do not need any of that to edit a video. I try to focus on things that maybe I avoid when I am feeling creative because I feel like I need to do creative tasks at that point. And I do all this admin work, as we call it, that I might not want to do on some other regular day. I think that being able to understand our best moments and our worst moments when we're not feeling that much inspired or that much creative is actually the key to making this work, to being able to split up your work, to split up your job and know when you're doing one type of job and when you're doing another type of job. And that takes us to tip number three that has to do with organizing your days, your weeks, your time. For this, what I like to do, being able to manage my own time and be my own boss, is that I like to divide my days between the creative days and the not so creative days. Of course, you cannot set that from the beginning because one day might be your creative day and you're not feeling like it and that's OK. 
okay? But with a week being of five working days, I try to set aside at least two or three days for the most creative activities, whether that being shooting pictures, shooting videos, or writing blog posts, and then two or three days for the not so creative activities, like doing emails, doing invoices, reaching out to brands, replying to brands, all that admin work that needs to get done at some point. So on this creative days, I put up together a lot of creative tasks, a lot of creative activities. And on the not so creative days, I do the rest of the work all together. Batching this type of activities, batching this type of jobs and tasks help me work better. And it might help you as well to work better and to be more efficient. Another great tip that really helps me out a lot is to write down my ideas. You might use a notebook, you might use your agenda, your phone, the notes in your phone, email to yourself, an app, whatever that might be, but write down your ideas as soon as they come to your mind. Because maybe you're doing a not so creative activity and you suddenly have this amazing idea for a new video that you might not come up with that in another moment. Or maybe you're having a shower or maybe you're going out for a walk. Every time a new idea comes to mind, a new solution comes to mind, a new idea for an illustration, a new idea for a book, for a song, for whatever it is that you might be working on, just take that moment, take that second, write that down and you can work on that. You can process that. You can keep on working on that idea later on in that day or later on next week or next month. Doing this allows you to free up that space in your mind to put that idea somewhere else and then keep on doing whatever it is that you are doing. And then you can go back to what you wrote down and you can work on that. And the fifth and last tip has to do with looking for inspiration or maybe letting inspiration come to you. I know we all have times when we don't feel inspired, where we feel that nothing around us inspires us anymore. And I think this is especially true nowadays if you are currently doing a lockdown or quarantine, working from home, studying from home, where all you see is your bed, your bedroom, and then <laughs> your living room, the same sofa every day, the desk, the computer, like everything is the same every single day. And for the past maybe five, six, seven, eight months, nine months. So I know that's a lot. And I know that maybe you're not feeling inspired because your life is monotonous. Your life is the same every single day. And I totally get you. And I do feel uninspired sometimes as well. What I do think helps is to do another type of activities that might help you with your actual job. For example, watch movies, watch TV shows. Sometimes some movies and some TV shows maybe are from a different era, from the 1950s or 1960s, and the clothes are different and that inspires you. Or maybe you watch a TV show set in a different city and you have the chance of seeing buildings or seeing streets, or seeing people that you do not see on your everyday life. Or if you have the chance to go to a museum, being safe, of course, but if you can go to a museum and look at art, look at paintings, sculptures, do that because that might help you a lot. And if you cannot do any of that, just go for a walk. Even if it's your own neighborhood, you have a chance to actually look up, to look at the buildings that are near your house or walk a little bit further and look at the buildings somewhere else. Go for a walk with your dog, maybe without your phone, maybe without headphones and try to see what inspires you. Try to see what catches your attention and what helps you maybe create a new painting with something you saw today on your walk. As I said before, sometimes inspiration comes when we're not looking for it, when we're not actively seeking for it, when we're not even prepared for it. So just have something to write it down. If you're not taking your phone, take a notebook, take a pen and wait for that inspiration to come. Wait for that idea to come, for something to make you feel creative again, for something to make you feel inspired and motivated again. These are all the things I do when I'm not feeling inspired, when I'm not feeling creative, when I'm not feeling motivated. And although this is more focused in people that have a creative type of job, I think it will also work if you do not have a creative type of job. Maybe if you work on spreadsheets all day, it still helps because taking breaks, going outside, seeing different people <laughs> or seeing different buildings or seeing different things, switching up things might help at some point, even if you do not work in the creative field. Overall, I really hope this video helped you. If you're feeling stuck, if you're not feeling motivated, if you're not feeling creative, of course, as 
as always, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know if this video helped you and if you're going to use any of these tips for your everyday life. And if you'd like me to do any other type of videos related to either the creative field, to organizing your life, to setting up routines, tasks, working for yourself, working from home, whatever that might be. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already because that will help me a lot and activate the bell notifications so you can be notified of every new video I upload on my channel. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!